Today I just wanted to show you a tutorial for a one-way Lego centrifugal clutch. Now, this is not my original design. This was um, created originally by Lego Technic Mastery, or at least that's where I got the idea from. It's a little different from his design, and I'll explain why in a second. But before we jump into today's video, don't hesitate to um, leave a like and subscribe if you like my channel and enjoy my content. And also, announcement, the new engine, new LEGO vacuum engine will be coming out soon. So stay tuned for that, and it'll be up by next week. I've been a bit busy recently, so that's that can explain the lack of videos. Anyway, um, let's get into it. I'll it, give you the details of this clutch. Now, for those of you who do who do not know how a centrifugal clutch works, um, basically it works how when the engine or motor spins the clutch wheel here, um, arms with shoes and sticky stuff on them attach to a clutch shoe, which in this case would be this gray piece here, and it spins it. So when this spins these i don't know if you can see but these arms in here extend out and grip onto this shoe here and it spins it and i'd also like to point out this is instantly engaging so if i turn it the slightest bit as you can see it spins so it's a very nice design um i'll take this bit off so you can see um i have there are alternatives to the pieces I've used, and in this case, I've actually coated these pieces with rubber so that they stick better. And this specific clutch can handle a lot of torque, and it can, um, if you attach a motor to this side and then grab this side, it'll actually stop the motor because of how grippy it is. But as you can see, it takes wear here and here and there, but that's where the rubber, it grips onto this. And as you can see, the inside of it is also coated in rubber as well. Now, this is just to help it spin and engage properly. It's never had any problems and there are alternatives and I'll get into that. Um, so the alternatives is to use these rubber damper pieces. I'll try to get a picture. It just go in the same place as these were. And yeah, I will also be doing a tutorial for this at the end. So to prove my point that this can handle a lot of torque is one of the best designs I've seen for a Sprag centrifugal clutch. So I'm going to turn on this motor and as you can see it'll spin the wheel. Um, that's the wrong way. So if the cord can get tangled, um, as you can see, uh, if I put it down, can handle a lot of torque because as you can see it stops. It does slip a little bit, but for our cases it has enough torque. And as you can see when I stop the motor, it actually the wheel will keep spinning. And this is to represent the weight of a car or a clutch. So that's how a sprag clutch like this is supposed to work. So yeah, um, now let's get into the tutorial for this. So anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy, and like I said at the beginning, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and subscribe as I do read your comments, and I do answer any questions that need answering. So like I said, there are alternatives to how you can make this. Like I said, you can use the rubber damper pieces instead, but I don't have those. So like I said, I covered, coated the ends of these pieces and the inside of the hub with rubber so that it'll stick better anyway um, i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in the next video see you later